Hello folks. Uh, guess what came in the mail with no advanced warning or tracking number? This is the Time War uh, Chestnut X, X uh, manual coffee grinder. Uh, I've been using the, the Chestnut coffee grinder um, for a while now. I've been really enjoying it. I've been using it for mocha uh, brewing and espresso. It's uh, an amazing upgrade from a cheaper um, Hario grinder, which is fine. You start out with a cheaper one and then get a nicer one. Uh, this was Kickstarter funded. Um, it has the same build quality, hopefully, and uh, it should be better for espresso. So let's take a look. First time unboxing something live because I haven't opened this yet. I've only uh, cut the plastic off. Come on. So far, pretty nice. No, oh, this is, the packaging is pretty impressive for a coffee grinder. It is expensive though, so let me explain it. They packaged it like jewelry, oh my god. Um, okay, interesting. There's some minor blemishes on here. I think it, it'll wash off, but it is giant metal grinder. Uh, one of the highlights of this is that this will fold down and then easily uh, store for packing. The original one only goes like this and you, in order to store, unless you want to store it like this, you have to take the whole thing, take this off, which is fine. Um, so this will fold down, has a little uh, rubber stopper so it doesn't scratch the finish and then it stops like this. Uh, the other, interesting, nice all metal, all metal here. The other nice, the other feature that I particularly wanted was the fact that the burrs here, there's the main adjuster here. You have to, uh, there's the main adjuster, but in the middle, there's a tinier, more fine grain here uh, for espresso uh, coarseness and fine tuning. Uh, you usually get a lot of control from uh, uh, motorized grinders for that, for the exact espresso thing that you want. So uh, it feels really nice. It's heavy. It's a little bit bigger than the original chestnut, which this is supposed to be chestnut with a metal aluminum core inside. Uh, so it looks really interesting. I can't wait to try it out. And yeah, I'm not gonna do it right now because dialing in coffee takes a while and there's some screw ups that could happen. But so far, this feels nice. Uh, other boxing experience. I think this is the uh, special case that was uh, gonna go with Kickstarter backers. So opening up, so there's the baggie. Okay. Ah, yes, there it is. <laughs> there's a faux leather, Ooh, there's something else. I think this should be a brush. Oh, there's a different pocket in here for a brush. Manuals, brush for brushing off the coffee. But uh, this was part of a, for the special Kickstarter uh, backers. Take this out of the whiskey. Not sure what this is. Not sure what this is, there's some delete the manual. Interesting.
interesting. So there's a metal, there's a plastic film protecting. Oh no, it's on the inside. Ha ha ha. Okay. So from the pictures, I think it's supposed to be like this. Yep, here we go. So you basically have a, like this, this uh, leather et like holder. They even have their logo on it. Uh, there's, yeah, so interesting. I'm gonna actually have to read the manual and figure out what it's supposed to do. I don't know what, this is supposed to snap onto something. I don't know what, but I will figure it out. It looks pretty neat though. It's heavy. <laughs> it is heavy for a coffee grinder. I guess it's supposed to go like this. So, neat O. Uh, can't wait to try and make some coffee with this. I should probably wash it first. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like Coo, coo, coo. All right, that's it for now. New toys.